Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I'm bringing you a guide on how to level your companion's combat level and skill levels fast and efficiently. As always, there are time links in the About section and in the pinned comment below, so if you want to skip over some parts, you can, but let's get to it. First of all, I have completed a guide on how to get your companion and the basics of companions and what they can and can't do, and that can be viewed by clicking here. Make sure to bookmark that so you can watch it later. It is very in-depth and has some very good info in it. Now let's talk about how companions level. First, you have their combat level, then you have their skill levels, and their rapport. Companions level their combat level by you gaining experience from killing mobs. They earn 25% of the experience that your character earns, so the higher the XP per mob, the more XP they will gain. This means grinding levels for companions on lower level characters will be slower than grinding them on a max CP unlocked character because the max character will be gaining more experience per kill than your lower level characters. So if you're planning on really grinding out these levels fast, you want to increase how much experience your character will be getting per kill. Putting on training gear, using XP scrolls or buffs will ultimately increase your character's XP per kill and thus pass along the extra XP to your companion making it faster. Uh, yes, I did say that, <laughs> and XP scrolls do work for com uh, increasing companion XP. The only bonus that does not pass along to your companion is the daily enlightenment bonus. Now let's talk about skill line leveling. Each individual companion skill doesn't level like your character's does. The skills just unlock at certain skill line levels. Companion weapon XP works the same. You need to have the weapon from that skill line equipped and on the companion and gain experience while they're holding it. So for example, if you want your companion to be a healer and use a resto staff, you'll want to get your hands on a resto staff as soon as possible and put it on them so they're leveling that while fighting. There are vendors that sell basic white weapons that have no traits on them at some vendors throughout Tamriel. Here is the location of the companion weapon vendor located in Leowin. Companion Armor XP is a little different in that in order for them to gain any experience in that armor skill line, they need to be wearing 5 or more pieces of that armor type while gaining kill XP. If your companion is wearing 3 pieces of medium, 3 light, and 1 heavy, you're wasting XP because they won't be gaining any XP in any of the armor trees. That also means that you can only level one armor skill line at a time, so make sure you have them in the proper armor weight you ultimately want them in so that you don't have to go back and grind that out later. They come equipped with basic white medium weight gear. Like the weapons, profession vendors located in some crafting areas have basic white companion gear. Again, the white gear doesn't have any traits. Uh, Leowin does have those vendors, so make sure to stop by there and pick them up the appropriate gear weight that you want them in for leveling. Companion Guild skill lines are different than everything else, because why make it easy? So the only way for your companion to earn experience in the, those guild trees is by completing the guild daily quests from each of the three guilds in your alliance capital city. There is only one daily quest per guild per day that can be completed uh, for experience. They award 50 guild experience per turn in and you can only complete them once a day. Your first time completing the quest will unlock the skill lines for your companions. Unlike the class skills and weapon skills, 
Even if you have a guild skill slotted, you will not gain experience while killing things. You will only gain experience in those skill trees from doing and completing the daily quests. So it is very important to make sure you do these every day. Now what you can do to make this faster is if you have alt characters, you can do these same daily quests on those characters and advance the companion's guild skill levels on those characters. You will first need to unlock the companions on your alts by doing the same quest you did to initially get the companion. The companion retains their combat level and skill levels on all characters you have. You just need to unlock it on all your alternate characters. Alright, so pick up your companion, summon them, throw the weapon on that you want them to use, put five pieces of gear on them in the weight that you want them leveling in, equip one skill from each uh, class skill line, prep yourself if you're going to be putting on training gear and consuming an experience scroll, and now we're ready to grind, but where do we go? Now there are a few ways to go about this, and I'm going to share with you some spots and ways to grind whether you're a lower level character or a powerful CP unlock character who's able to do more difficult content. But there are ways to level this super fast or level it at a slower pace XP wise, but at the same time you're going to be leveling the companion's rapport. Now the rapport can only be increased by one source every five minutes. So that means, for instance, Mary likes it when you read from bookshelves. If you find a library full of bookshelves, uh, you can only get one rapport increase per five minutes. So don't go running around spamming bookshelves because you're not going to get multiple increases in a row. You have to wait five minutes to read another bookshelf and gain a rapport tick. It's hard to really grind rapport, but I did find a way that you can grind levels all while getting a rapport tick every five minutes. Miri loves killing goblins and Bastion loves killing bandits and cultists. So the absolute best places to grind if you want to grind both rapport and XP at the same time would be in locations that have these mobs in it so while you're grinding you'll be getting that nice rapport tick every five minutes. Rapport increases are insanely small, so small that you can't really even visually see the bar move after one tick. Now of course it's up to you, but if you want to kill two birds with one stone, this will be the way to do it. For Miri, two good locations that I found that have goblins in it are Bone Snap Ruins and Stormhaven, and Tooth Maul Gully in Auradon. For Bastion, some good spots that I found for grinding XP and getting that rapport tick uh, was Polk in Vardenfell and Mines of Curus in Glenumbra. All of these locations are great for grinding levels and rapport. For straight up rapport grinding, you'll want to find three or so items that you know they like and perform them in a cycle so that there's five minutes in between each source's last rapport tick. For instance, for Bastion, you can start by going to the Mage's Guild and doing the quest. Just visiting the Mage's Guild gives him a tick. Read a book, go do a dolmen for the cultists, or find a location near a way shrine with cultists or bandits and kill one. Scry or dig up an antiquity, do a psychic portal, then start the cycle over again as five minutes has passed since the first thing you did. Dolmens are another great source of XP for companions. You will also gain that extra rapport increase for Bastion because one of his favorite things, again, is killing bandits and cultists. So he'll get that extra rapport tick at the beginning of the Dolmen events. Not only will you gain mob XP for your companions, but at the end of the dynamic event, they will both get a nice XP tick for completing the event. Now, the newer dynamic world events that take you through the portals to the Deadlands aren't quite as efficient for leveling if you're going for fast leveling because mobs on the first few islands are frequently dead unless you're lucky enough to get in there as soon as the portals open. And then you have to stand around and wait for the boss event at the end, so you end up wasting a lot of time standing around. Uh, they do get the nice bonus XP tick at the end of that event. If you're higher level, the absolute best spots I found for leveling companion with them gaining the most experience per kill is going into Dragonstar Arena with your companion. 
If you're able to solo this on normal, you can get some nice XP. Of course, the absolute best spot to gain the most XP per kill and make the most use of your time was in Black Rose Prison, doing stages 1 through 4 and resetting. It is difficult to solo, but it is possible if you're higher level and have CP unlocked. Um, you can take a friend in there, uh, only one, and you can both have your companions out and make it a little easier. Uh, just make sure you prioritize interrupting the archers that are taking aim, as that is an insta-kill if you miss one. And that's it guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed, and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in Tamriel. Bye!